Some days, I just sit here on this computer and think to myself, what's going to happen today? What is going to happen today? What, what, what news is going to break? What rumor are we going to hear that's going to break and just blow the internet up? Like, just blow it up up to, like, an astronomical level. Well, what I said was going to start happening, it looks like it's starting to happen. Microsoft might be bringing their games to PlayStation. And it's not, you know, some secret ops like, you know, oh, well, it's kind of an Xbox game. The rumor is right now that Starfield and Indiana Jones are planned to be coming to PlayStation in the future. Now, this is a, this rumor, by the way, you got to take this all with the biggest grain of salt. You got to take this shit with a fucking salt shaker. But... The fact that we keep hearing this and we keep hearing Microsoft talk about, you know, plants outside of the gaming, you know, the console ecosystem. Come on, man. It's like trying to deny a fire in your backyard. At some fucking point, you got to acknowledge there's something going on behind you. At some point, you got to sit there and go, yeah, that, 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 there might be a problem there. Now, for the record, I'm not saying this is actually a problem. In fact, I'm saying this is actually a good thing. I think this is actually the best way for Microsoft to go forward. In fact, I think this is what Sony should do going forward if they want to keep this ever-growing growth that all these corporations seem to chase. They always want to grow, they always want to make more money, and they always want to you know, have the never-ending growth. Well, a console only gets you so much. A console only gets you so far, especially a console that, let's be honest here, guys. Let's just let's call a spade a spade here. The Xbox ecosystem right now is the least appealing of the big three. That's not saying it's not appealing, but if you have a PC, you basically have no reason to own an Xbox, period. Just as simple as that. You could just literally get Game Pass and a Xbox controller, boom, you're set up. You're ready to go. You don't even need a good PC, too. You just need to play, be able to play on cloud gaming. And while, yes, that might be, you know differ here and there it is how they're going to get you in that ecosystem so it doesn't surprise me in the slice that microsoft is talking about you know potentially bringing their games to playstation i will keep saying this it's profitable it's the way of the future we are leaving the console wars behind we are going to be entering the publishing wars do not doubt for a second that we will see PlayStation games on Xbox and Xbox games on PlayStation and both of them will be on PC still and Nintendo will get some Xbox games, probably never get PlayStation games, but then again, that's technically not even true because MLB The Show does come to freaking Nintendo and guess what? That is a PlayStation Studios game, so technically PlayStation games are are on both Xbox and place and <laughs> freaking Nintendo. So it's not out of the realm of possibility. This is the world we are living in. This is no longer going to be the console war. Like I said, it's going to be the publishing wars. And honestly, just play the games you want to play. Just stop with the console war and shit. I know that some people might look at me and say, I console war. Dude, if I want to play a game real bad, I'll play the fucking game. I'll go and get the hardware or whatever I need to do to be able to play that game. Period. The end. And yeah, some people say, well, that's stupid to buy a console for one fucking game. Yeah, it is stupid, but it's my stupid choice. My stupid money. I'm allowed to spend my stupid money on whatever stupid product I want. If I want to buy 20 fucking OnlyFans subscriptions, I could go ahead and do that. If I want to buy 20 fucking, you know, indie PlayStation games or indie games in general, I could go do that. It's my choice as the consumer. So, with all that said, I feel like this is the best foot forward. This is Microsoft potentially. Yeah, get it's, you got to take this all with a grain of salt. Like I said, a salt shaker in this case. But it's not out of the realm of possibility. And I do think the first one we're going to see, if this does come true, is Hi-Fi Rush. Because the rumor is that that game already had a PS5 version in development. But because Bethesda got bought out, they shelved that version. But it doesn't mean that that version was completely canceled. Maybe Microsoft behind the scenes was like, well, you know, 
we could do that. We, we could do that. Hey, the Starfield version. After we get the DLC out, you, you want to put that on PlayStation? Because it's just extra revenue. Both Microsoft and Sony benefit from it. Both Microsoft and Sony would benefit from Starfield sales. How is this bad in any capacity? So until next time, guys, this is that PlayStation Gear. Oh, by the way, all you Xbox fanboys who are salty about this, grow up. It's, if you want your company to do so well, so great, you would, should be applauding this kind of move. You should be happy this is happening. Oh no, your piece of plastic doesn't have any value because the only value you perceive is the, I could play this game on this platform and this platform only, neener, 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 like a fucking five-year-old. It's ridiculous. But like I said, until next time, the PlayStation Gamer sign out. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all the YouTube algorithm BS. I'm going to sit down and freaking watch some American Dad because I've been binge watching it for some reason. Bye.